The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Such is the confidence we have through Christ in facing God. It is not that we are so competent that we can claim any credit for ourselves. All our competence comes from God. He has given us the competence to be ministers of a new covenant, a covenant which is not of written letters, but of the Spirit. For the written letters kill, but the Spirit gives life. Now if the administering of death engraved in letters on stone occurred in such glory that the Israelites could not look Moses steadily in the face because of its glory, transitory though this glory was, how much more will the ministry of the Spirit occur in glory. For if it is glorious to administer condemnation, to administer saving justice is far richer in glory. Indeed, what was once considered glorious has lost all claim to glory, by contrast with the glory which transcends it. For if what was transitory had any glory, how much greater is the glory of that which lasts forever? In our response from Psalm 99, Exalt Yahweh our God, bow down at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron are among his priests, and Samuel calling on his name. They called on Yahweh, and he answered them. He spoke with them in the pillar of fire. They obeyed his decrees, the law he gave them. Yahweh our God, you answered them. You were a God of forgiveness to them, but punish them for their sins. Exalt Yahweh our God, bow down at his holy mountain. Holy is Yahweh our God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. In truth I tell you, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke is to disappear from the law until all its purpose is achieved. Therefore, anyone who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the person who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord.